Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV, and I just had the chance to talk to John C. Dvorak. He's a columnist and also the host of Cranky Geeks, a very well-known tech journalist and tech commentator. So I asked him about mobile and e-readers, and here's what he has to say just for Beat TV. John, you're the head Cranky Geek. What's got you cranky these days, technology and internet-wise? Well, technology-wise, you know, I, I'm, I'm a fan of these new smartphones, the app phones. I like to call them app phones because that's really what they are. Uh, they run apps. And, and uh, I haven't moved to the Apple iPhone because I don't like AT&T at all, and so I re just refuse to, to have I mean, I li like the phone. I think it's a fantastic product. Uh, I'm a little leery of the new iPhone 4 because it just looks breakable. I mean, because I, I drop my phone about once every few months. I mean, everybody does. And I think that, I don't know. I've seen cracked backs and the whole thing on the, on the iPhone 4 already, so that concerns me. But uh, uh, I have a Nexus, which I've dropped, Nexus 1, and I use that, uh, and it hasn't broken yet, so I don't know. I just find these things to be uh, fragile. It's kind of, that bothers me. Uh, what about e-readers? Do you have one? Do you use one? No, but you know, in fact, there's a new study that just came out saying that e-readers, you can't read as fast on one as you can on print. Did you see this thing? It just came out just like a few days ago. It shows that uh, something like you can read 30, 40 percent faster on real, 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 using a real book. Why is that? I think it has to do with the contrast and also the, 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 the texture and the, and the, I don't know, there's probably a lot of different things. And maybe the way you, you approach it because it's a real book and you don't have to worry about pushing buttons and things like that. Do you think everyone will be using them? Is it sort of what the younger generation will be, will be doing? I think everyone's going to gravitate toward that, but I think what's going to have to happen uh, it, we had a thing at, at Market Watch that used to have a style guide that required essentially, and you had to write this way or they would make you write this way, they would just re-edit you. So all, para, all paragraphs are two sentences. So when it reads on the screen, you have these two sentence paragraphs as opposed to this block of text. So when you're looking at a screen, I don't care how good of a screen it is, even though with the MEMS technologies used by e-readers, it may not be a problem as much of a problem, but you have a problem getting from the end of one line to the beginning of the next line. You just, your eyeball, and people will no, notice this when they're reading, they're, they're, you get here and then they, you can't find, wait, 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 and so you have to, like, it slows you down. I mean, you can really slow down if you have to read off of the screen. If, but if it's a two sentence paragraph, it's a no-brainer because you really can't get that lost because there's a big gap between each paragraph. It's only two sentences and it's only usually one more line. If people start readjusting for e-books, if you start writing for e-books, as a tip for writers. For e you should start thinking about writing in this style, which would look bad in print. If you saw this in a print, you'd go, this is terrible. You know, why is this, this is be chop, 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 chop? But on a screen, it looks fine. You don't, nobody even notices it, and it makes reading a breeze. Shorter paragraphs is better. Okay, back to mobile for a second. A lot of folks see this as sort of the big growth area for advertising, for viewership, watching video, watching TV. What's your take? Is, is mobile the, the hottest thing about to be mined? I think mobile's been the hottest thing for the last couple of years, or maybe longer. Uh, and it's, you know, all the smart developers have gone over there because that's where all the money is. So we're not getting anything on the desktop. There's, not, there's nothing new coming out except upgrades of Word, which is not much of an upgrade. So the, it, essentially the desktop computer, in terms of its futuristic possibilities, is dead. Everything's gone to mobile, and I think the iPad will pick up a lot of those guys too because it's, they only make a buck a piece, but there's billions of phones. So you can make a lot of money. Uh, and it's kind of a different model, and once you get into that model, I think it's very profitable. So I think the mobile space right now is, is, is overly dominating the, the entire tech scene. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.